Now, uh, you know, go just sticking on the idea of album covers. Um, you also worked with you also worked with Olivia Curry, who did the uh, set design for Black Panther. She, she did she designed the album cover for uh, Mystery School. Um, how did you uh, get involved with her? Um, the exact same way. I was such a big fan of her work. Um, I literally had her artwork on my as my screensaver for oh really years. For years, and, and I didn't even know it was hers. For the longest time, it was just like artwork that I'd found online that I really loved. Mm -hmm. And you know how sometimes that just ends up on your screensaver. And later on, I uh, I noticed she posted something for sale, uh, a a really nice illustration that she created called Queen. And I she said I have a couple of these. Uh, left if anybody wants them so i reached out to her i purchased it from her and during that transaction i just happened to mention hey do you happen to do album artwork and she said yes um and and i let her listen to some of the songs and i told her who i was collaborating with which she had done uh performance art with govinda in the past and she knew who he was as an artist so i think she just um was comfortable with moving forward with the project and for me, that was just a huge, huge honor working with her because she's just one of my favorite artists. Wow. Yeah, she she does some amazing work. I was actually uh, going through Google trying to find a copy of that Queen uh, painting just because it, uh, it interested me. You're going to have to send me a picture of that one. I'd love to see it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's really otherworldly. And, again, her work kind of transcends – time and space and it's very universal and also very unique I, she just has a very unique style and and just she's a very very intelligent and just beautiful person i think oh yeah and you could act and you could absolutely see how that kind of um kind of that visionary approach um you know impacted the uh, set design for black panther too just because just uh, you know taking in the sci-fi influences but i mean keeping it very um very themed in like kind of ancient african traditions like it, the, the, she did a great right. job of blending those optics yeah she a lot of the tribal elements i guess she was involved on it so i don't know exactly every detail that she did in the movie but i did recall seeing some photographs of her working on some of the stripes and patterns oh that yeah were in some some of the sets and it's just really beautiful work and just adds so much. Well, it also gives it more of an authentic or an authentic feel, I should say, um, because, you know, there's something about, um, you know, I don't know, just in today's modern culture, there's something that we crave about a genuine experience um, because, you know, so much of uh, what we experience is fabricated for us for marketing purposes, you know, whatever the case may be that people crave it because we don't think that we're getting the authentic experience around us, you know? So when you have something that's, um, you know, that's uh, uh, tribally authentic, that tries to come off as genuine people resonate with so much more. Right. I think so. Yeah. It was, that was a remarkable production visually. And uh, it's it's amazing, you know, to, that she was able to work on that such a remarkable creation, all in all, you know. 